If you're anything like me, you love to hear about the dramas of Parliament, as well as the affairs of those who sit in the House of Lords. However, it's rare we get a story as interesting as John Bingham the Seventh's. <laughs> Born to an obviously wealthy family in 1934, John was the son of the 6th Earl of Lucan and had a typical Lord's upbringing, attending Eton College and serving with the Coldstream Guards in West Germany. It was in these army days where he developed a taste for gambling, particularly blackgammon and bridge. However, he wasn't very good and his losses far exceeded his winnings. He obviously had a passion for gambling and left his job at a merchant bank to become a professional gambler. It was probably his passion for racing boats and driving Aston Martins that once led him to being considered for the role of James Bond in Ian Fleming's adaptation. This would, obviously, never materialise. Eventually John was settled down, marrying Veronica Johnson in 1963. John and Veronica would go on to have three children, however, the marriage would irreversibly collapse in the early 70s. It's at this point where John moves out of the house and his continuing debts mount and mount. This is where our story takes a turn for the worst. John would split with his wife and eventually move out of the family home. John would then go on to spy on his now ex-wife in a variety of ways, recording her telephone calls and attempting to gain full custody of his children. It was in late 1974 where John would commit his darkest act. The nanny of the three children was found bludgeoned to death in the family home. John's wife Veronica was also attacked, alleging that John had broken, killed the nanny and then tried to kill her. John then telephoned his mother, asking her to pick up the kids and then promptly disappeared, never to be heard from again. There were a few sightings of John from here to there, however he has never officially confirmed to be been spotted and his death certificate was published in 2016. The family estate would later collapse and go into bankruptcy due to John's outstanding gambling debts. So that's the story of the Lord of the Manor turned gambler, turned murderer, turned disappearing act. Truly an interesting but dark tale. Thank you for listening. This has been the Unenlightened University, signing off. <laughs>